Powered by Riverside. In the top of the morning show it's your girl tt from the d happy tuesday everybody it is tuesday 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 i do apologize i was not able to give you guys a show yesterday there were some technical difficulties where i could not record spotify for podcasters is doing something new and there was a time for the past three years i was able to record my show through the app through our iPhones or your Androids or whatever that looks like. And then they took that opportunity away. They said they wanted to make it easier and a lot, you know, more add more features. But I find it to be challenging sometimes. As I taught myself a little bit, I looked at their videos and I did a lot by trial and error. But it is nothing like being able to be on the go and record if you need to. I'm a person who's always on the go. And it was so convenient to be able to just do it from the car if I needed to or wherever I was with just my phone. So having to get to a laptop or a, uh, a tabletop or however you want to say it, it, it can be challenging. And then when it's down, because it kept saying it was an error, and I'm like, what? I logged out, I logged in, I logged out, I logged in. I tried from different computers, and it wasn't until today that it was back up and running. So I say all of that to say, I would have dropped you a show yesterday because I would have loved to have shared with you. I interviewed Erica Franklin, who is a phenomenal actor from Detroit. She's all over the place. When I say all over the place, she is on the go. She is traveling. If you have a budget, if you have a project, and she feels that it is one that is for her, she will come and drop that role and bring life to that character, I guarantee you. So I would have loved to have shared that with you guys to get you ready for it. I didn't do promo for today for Tap In Tuesday because I will not be doing a Tap In Tuesday show tonight in honor of the special episode that I did last night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you have the opportunity, if you are one of my Indeed supporters and you check me out on Tap In Tuesday, don't feel cheated. It's okay. You can go and check out my special episode from yesterday in replace of the episode, which would have been airing tonight, live streaming. But if you join me for next Tap In Tuesday, Lord willing, I will have Milton Podcast. The podcasters from Milton Podcast will be in the building. Three amazing, beautiful women who have come together, connected, and they will come to you and talk to you about motherhood and things of that nature. They are beautiful women. You have two from Detroit and one from Atlanta. So we get to see what's going on in ATL and all those things. And I had the opportunity when they actually came on the scene, they launched um, in the beginning of the year, and I was happy that I was able to interview them on my last season from TT from the V podcast. So that was a time. So getting that out of the way, I do want to say thank you to all of my listeners globally. I appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. I know that my um, my listening audience is very broad. Um, and I only know, oh, excuse me, from the analytics that I got by way of um, Spotify. So I know that I have people in the United States, Bahrain. U.S. Virgin Island, India, Brazil, United Kingdom, Germany, Canada, Australia, Philippines, Ireland, Italy, New Zealand, Japan, Ukraine, Finland, Poland, Puerto Rico, Romania, Argentina, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, Russia, Mexico, France, Switzerland, Bulgaria, Israel, Netherlands, Denmark, Egypt, Azerbaijan, Kuwait, Spain, Vietnam, Serbia, Laos. Portugal, Iraq, Hungary, Austria, Guam, Lebanon, Maldives, Republic of Lithuania, Dominica, Angola, Tunisia, Zimbabwe, Malta, Sweden, Nicaragua, Belarus, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Belgium, Georgia, 
Cyprus, Venezuela, South Africa, Bermuda, Armenia, and Czech Republic. Salute to you all. And for the men and women that listen to me, I know that you don't only listen on Spotify. I know that you listen to me over on Spotify for podcasters as well. But iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and online. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I have all type of listeners from all across the globe listening to the top of the morning show. This morning, I just want to talk to you about taking your place. I'm going to be short and brief and sweet and to the place, but I want to remind you to take your place. There are many people who are not taking their place that rightfully belong to them. And I'm not quite sure why we don't want to all the time. I know it can be time consuming. It can be overwhelming. But you have to take your place. Everybody has a place. I don't know if you know it or not, but you have to say enough is enough. And stand up for yourself. And just be ready. This world is for the taking. Okay? And for you not to be in position, enjoying life, it's a, it's a discern, it's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a disservice to the world. To sum it up, finding a sense of purpose for which you belong in this world. You have purpose. What is your purpose? I don't know. What's my purpose? I'm learning. But you have to decide that you want to be a part of the world. You don't have to be of it. This life can be tricky. That is for sure. It can be tricky. It could be overwhelming. It could be depressing at times. But it also can be beautiful. It can be just simply amazing. Right? Because it's it's amazing to have life. And when we leave it, I can only imagine that it's amazing in the next journey. How do you find your place in life? I would like to say you can recognize when you're disconnected from it, from people, right? You can take time to really look and say, I was connected to her or I was connected to him. I was connected to them and be like, how? When you really take time to sit back and look at your life, look at your work, your body of work, where you gravitate to, your circle of friends, the family members you choose to rock with. You could sit through life and just let life pass you by if you like. But what fun would that be? And what gratification would you get from that? If you learn to understand yourself better, you'll understand what amazing farmer you are, metaphorically speaking. And if you reach your hand into your pockets and pull out the seeds that God planted inside you, you can water this earth and make it a more beautiful place. But we can't do that until we realize how amazing we are as human beings. Because we are. I don't know if anybody told you, but you don't. And I don't know if you overly arrogant and know it. Simmer down if you are. If somebody's told you before you're a little arrogant, you might not see it. You might not even recognize and understand it. But it's worth investigating. And then another thing you want to do is be loyal to you. It's easy to be loyal to people who aren't even worth being loyal to. And we do it quite often and we don't realize we're doing it. 
It's okay. <laughs> but take your place, King. Take your place, Queen. It's yours for the taking. You have things to do in this world. And I hope that you do them well. I hope you choose to do them well. I hope you want to do them well. Your life cannot be duplicated. They can try to clone it all they want. There's only one you. There's only one pair of footprints that will leave prints from the walk in this life you take. They will never be duplicated. They can't be recreated. Only you have the right to walk the path and live in each moment and every step you take. Because it's already been laid upon your feet. Allow the lantern upon your feet to light your pathway and walk this journey out. It could be as amazing as you want it to be. And it could suck as much as you want it to be. You ultimately make the choice. Once you are set free to live your life. What you choose to do with your life is totally up to you. Choose wisely and choose to live it abundantly, unapologetically. Live your best life, friend. It's yours to live. Well, until the next time we leave Footprints Across the Sun, it's your girl Titi from the D. And I'll see you soon.